So we thought we'd start off this Friday with a few laughs. You know you don't take yourself too seriously when your entire bio is full of many jokes and you can't tell what's real and what's not. <laughs> He's a comedian and master impressionist. We welcome Frank Caliendo. Hi, hey, Frank. Frank. Hi, am I on? You're I, on. I'm, oh, good. You're on. It's so good, good to meet you. Yeah, it's How great. I wouldn't let you guys talk before the show. You kept trying to ask me questions about personal things. I'm like, save it for the that's show. That's, that's what he said. I, well, because I'm so happy to see you. First, why would you do it now? What, what's the questions? What do you well, got? First of all, I just know you look fantastic. That's so true. Um, <laughs> no, I. Uh, it's called it's called the pillow diet. Here, I do a lot of this and a lot of. Give me something furry. Bring it this way and this way. And what's he doing? I don't know. I think they're wearing these in Sochi. It's in Sochi or. Sochi. Does it, my mom, have you seen the Sochi Olympics yet? I don't know. And how'd you become an older Jewish woman, Mom? I don't know. Uh, you know what? It was exercise, and uh, that wasn't really Jewish. How did you become? Yeah, I'm getting my. I forgot which uh, nationality his mom was supposed to not be. Uh, it happens. Uh, I'll tell you what. We could go John Gruden out of nowhere. Maybe. Well, here's what we do. We hire Morgan Freeman to narrate the show. Right? Okay. He stands back here. Did you hear that? That was like the kid from The Simpsons. He stands back here. That's great, Mr. Simpson. All right. Uh, Morgan Freeman's here. Well, that's when the audience realized that Frank Caliendo had no idea who it was. It's the Robin Williams theory of comedy. If you don't have a joke, you just switch voices. And we're back. Okay. With the <gasps> who brought the snowballs? This is going to be fun. Okay. And oh, they thought they were going to throw it. Still got the tag on it. Okay. We can bring it back. Don't worry. Don't worry, everybody. Even if he breaks it, we didn't buy it. That's fine. All right. <laughs> hey, you know what? we need for the set what what are these <laughs> this is somebody walking through an antique store and like ah yeah this is going to be perfect right there put them on the snowballs and for some reason have some pine trees shooting out <laughs> from the ground that's normal <laughs> how, how many people hold on live inside second. of you frank Wait a Look second. at this. Oh my God. Uh, oh, that we had said, we can't that. see Frank on his camera. <laughs> yeah, someone's freaking out right now. Oh my gosh. You can imagine. Can you imagine? Heads are rolling. Seriously, Frank, how many this people really live inside too. of you? Uh, there's like six. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I really, uh, this is my happy pillow. <laughs> Look, Frank brought his own bunny and he's hugging him. <laughs> Um, there's quite a few. Uh, what, uh, you, well, when you practice these impressions, this, you do you practice in front of a mirror? Do you just, when you're driving around in your car? Uh, how does this happen? A lot in the car. Uh, the mm -hmm. car, and that's, what, that's usually when I get better, is I'll, I'll mess around a lot with uh, things. Like, to, to me, it's about the cadence of the person. If you listen to President Obama, okay? President Obama uh, talks uh, slow at uh, the beginning uh, and uh, speeds up at the end, right? It's always like <laughs> one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. Be great teaching your phone number, like eight, six, seven. Uh, 5309. That's Jenny's number. You bet it is. And I just called her. Hey. <laughs> Anybody been talking to Elizabeth Hurley lately? Are there certain impressions you can't do without tons. the face? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's First of all, there's tons I can't do. And then there, a lot. The face helps, though. It's, uh, it's like somebody was talking about Charles Barkley uh, to me earlier today. And I even do that. It's like when Charles Barkley, because he gets this look on his face, like his nose gets squeezed yeah. in a little bit. He's, I start to thin about it a little bit. <laughs> and then when you realize it's really crazy. I mean, <laughs> Caladino is a knucklehead. It's Caliendo, Mr. Barkley. <laughs> Who cares? It doesn't really matter. Charles is the best. Because when, whenever I see Charles, he's like, you got to keep doing me. I'm like, why? He's like, because every time you do it, I make more money. <laughs> he's the best. I was doing a show with him for the Phoenix Suns charities in Phoenix, uh, celebrating their charities and the greatest Phoenix Suns of all time. There were three of them. And uh, so, uh, <laughs> so we, uh, thanks, sports fans, found you. Uh, uh, there he is right there. Boom. All right. Well, for the non-sports fans, once again, that was John Madden. I'll tell you what. Go from Madden to Gruden. That's some pretty good stuff right there. I don't even know where we're at. Well, that happened to me at times as well. So, Barkley, I'm on stage, or I'm backstage before the show, and I'm like, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a couple minutes about you, do 25 minutes of other stuff, and then I'm going to do three minutes about you at the end. That's when you come up and you make fun of me uh, half an hour later. It's like, that's all perfect. That'll be really, really good. <laughs> I'm up there for a minute and a half. Next thing you know, he's standing next to me like, what are you doing up here? He's like, I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> and then he had the greatest line of the whole night. He's like, don't you have anything better to do than sit around your house pretending to be me? And I looked at him, and I was like, don't be ridiculous. He said, that's ridiculous. I don't say ridiculous. I said, you just did, knucklehead. <laughs> that's terrible, especially for a former athlete. Athlete. That's where the vows from Turbo went. That's a great story. That's he's the best. Great. He's the best. That's a great story. Hey, can we get a band in here? Can you guys start getting we have blue, we have bluegrass hey. music coming up. In Oh, I can't from wait. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be not terrible. It's gonna be very, very good. <laughs> not, not terrible. Well, 
Well, that's what Frank was waiting for, Frank, the bluegrass who guys. Frank, has song. been most offended <laughs> by one of your impressions? Uh, you know, I think people that don't know me generally are. Once they meet me, they turn around a little bit. I mean, everybody gets a little... I, I even thought Trump would dislike me. When I, when, I, when I met Donald Trump, he's totally different than what you see on TV, by uh -huh. the way. Totally. Uh, I thought he was going to be like a greasy used car salesman kind of uh -huh. guy. And then you meet him, he's self-deprecating. and all. It's oh. like, But then he gets on TV and all of a sudden, here we go. This is going to be luxurious. <laughs> uh, but I, you no, have his lips totally down. Yeah, he looks, he looks like he's uh, like when you're a little kid and you're looking in the aquarium, aquarium and you start mimicking the fish that... <laughs> <laughs> Look, je, come here, Nemo. Get away from the treasure chest. <laughs> this will be the most fantastic day of your life. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah, but, you know, they talk about some of the people like you do it. Adam Sandler, hey, how you doing? It's going to be a fun time. And uh, <gasps> what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Well, there's no surprise. Your shows are sold out for the comedies on this weekend. I bought all the tickets myself. <laughs> They're sold That's out. That's what I do is I go to a place and I buy all the tickets so I make it seem like nobody can get them. And then I add shows a couple months later. Ooh, <laughs> love it. Brilliant. I only lose thousands of dollars on it. Well, you're coming back to Charlotte May 2nd and 3rd. So tickets for that show. Are they on sale now, Mike Hall? Yes. They're on sale now. If you want to see Frank yeah. in May, go to cltcomedyzone.com or call the number on your screen, 980-321-421. 4702, but you do have shows tonight and tomorrow, and it'll be great fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's always great, great audiences. And uh, where am I? Uh, <laughs> in Charlotte. Uh, thank you guys very much for having me, and uh, I appreciate it. Oh, we're big fans in our house. My kids and my husband oh, awesome. just think you're everything. They're very so. smart people. Yeah, <laughs> clearly they are, right? Uh, still ahead on Charlotte today this morning.